Sarah and Alexa to another Snarled video. This is going to be another Death Happens hey. video. Whoa. Another Death Happens video. So I Snarled. It was about the third week into Kathy's weight loss battle where things really... Sorry, I was about to pl pl play a song and then I just loaded up now the ads. So when cute animals turn dangerous. So I, I have a cute animal right there. My cat. And I'm sure it can turn turn da dangerous real fast. So let's see what happens in this video. It's, about four, it's just over four minutes long. Let's go. Hey! Dogs out. Oh, Death Hi, welcome to Death Happens. I'm Megan, and this is a show about dying. Because the hard truth is that we're all going to die, but you can learn how to survive as long as possible. Today's episode is about our pets. Oh, yes, they're cute, they're cuddly, they're furry, they're feathery, they're scaly. But the fact of the matter is that we can learn a lot about death from our pets. Typically it starts with the trauma of losing a family pet, like a dog or a cat. But there's also disease-carrying rodents, exotic pets that not so shockingly can send their owners to their grave, mama pets that would eat their own young, and pets that would undoubtedly eat us if we died alone with them. Oh! I first learned about death and grieving from my hamsters. Growing up I had two of them. Sarah? I know, the lack of creativity that went into naming her is incredible. And another named Butterscotch. Per usual with rodents, they did not live very long. And every kid who owns a pet will someday face the time when they have to say goodbye. And maybe find their bodies alone, and then bury that cold hard body in their mother's flower bed. All the screaming you hear. My hamsters were healthy and died of natural causes and never made me sick. But that's not always the case. Hamsters can demonstrate some very odd and very violent behavior. One woman in Rhode Island, for example, sued PetSmart for selling her a hamster with a disease that killed her husband. And that disease is called lymphocytic choreomeningitis, commonly carried by rodents, and at most will usually make people have flu-like symptoms. But if you have a weakened immune system, you are uh, susceptible to death. But say PetSmart didn't sell you a hamster with a disease. Say you pick up a hamster instead that's pregnant. This is exciting because one day you walk up to the cage and instead of one hamster, you got a whole crew of them. Squat. And then, say the next day you return to the cage to check on our new developing family. Oh, uh, what's this? Ah! You've just walked into a bloody massacre and mom's sitting over in the corner looking like a fat and happy cannibal. That's right. Mama hamsters sometimes eat baby hamsters. Ooh. And it doesn't always happen. Sometimes it can be prevented. If you have too much excitement around a cage, like you're taking pictures of it, it might freak out and eat one of the babies. So it's recommended to leave your hamster alone as much as possible for the first 10 days. Another reason a mama hamster might eat her baby is because of scent confusion. Often pet owners will get excited when they see this new litter of babies that they just want to pick them up and like twirl them around. And then after playing with them and giving back to the mama hamster, she might not recognize them as her own and then they become food. A mother hamster might also reject some of her litter because she thinks she has inadequate sustenance to care for them. She'll choose a few to sacrifice and make it easier on the rest of the family. Yikes, mama. Okay, so maybe you decide not to get a hamster. You're like, I'm more of a dog person. I'm more of a cat person. Well, if you ever die alone in your apartment with your cat or dog, maybe I hate to be the bearer of bad news for you, but they will eat you, most likely starting with your face. This is a very studied and reoccurring pattern amongst our domesticated animals. Dogs descend from wolves, cats descend from wild cats. They're carnivores and they hunt for a living. It's not that surprising because if an owner dies alone in their apartment and is not found for a few days, the pet will do what it needs to survive. The one odd behavior that I find incredibly fascinating though is that they'll go for the face, which is abnormal to wolves who typically go for the abdomen of their prey. The face just seems so personal and so much more offensive than going for the abdomen. So why would man's best friend betray us like that? One possible explanation for this is that when an owner falls dead and becomes unresponsive, the animal might try and help them by licking or nudging their face. And when the pet fails to get a response from the owner, they might become frantic and start panicking and kind of start biting. So sometimes the dog might not want to eat, but just by tasting the blood, eating gets stimulated and they get confused and they start eating the face. I'm so hungry I could eat a, a whole person. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Death Happens and learning some real dark facts about your pets with me. Tap that like button and leave us a comment down below. Subscribe to Snarled and also to our gaming channel, Slaytrix. I hope to see you next week. But remember, we're all gonna die. That's a great ending to a video. We're, we're all gonna die, so, okay, thanks. I didn't need to be reminded of that. Thank you, sir. Again, I call everybody sir, whether they're a girl or a guy, I don't care, I call everyone a sir, so just saying, don't feel offended. But, I mean, I don't know, like, that's just, ugh.
I don't like death. Like death just makes me nervous and stuff. Like I don't like thinking about it. I don't like talking about it. I just like living my life and then whatever happens happens. You know what I mean? Like I, I try to be cautious of like what's going on and all that. And you know, just all that stuff. But I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, pets for sure can be dangerous. I would, I, I would admit. I do not think that the cat would eat. My cat's well, like literally right over there. I, I, I would show her, but like my room is kind of a mess. Well, not really. There's like socks and everything everywhere, so it's like you know it's kind of dirty. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep this room clean, cleaner at least. Yeah, I mean, be just be careful with your pets. I mean, obviously they can also scratch you. They can also you know eat you. They can bite you, and then it can cause to death or lead to death. You know, somehow I don't know. Just be careful with your pets. My cat's looking at me right now, and I'm kind of kind of nervous. Please don't eat me. And then she's still looking at me. Sus. Okay, well, if, if this video goes up, then you should know that my cat did not eat me. I'm still good. But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to. Be sure to like this video. And be sure to comment down below any suggestions you may have. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.